ready for the ninth edition of the Prairie Dirt Shootout. 25 times for $2,000. Justin Duty in 15, 25 of Jason Fager. 4G of Bob Gardner and 25 of Alan Weiser. Who's it going to be here live on Dirt Vision, DirtOnDirt.com? Fall second feature of the night. The Prairie Dirt Shootout is officially underway. Down the back stretch, Jason Fager going to roar to the race lead. Duty going to run down to the inside. Weiser in the middle. Gardner, here comes Mike Spatula in car number 89. Green flag still out. Here we go. Fager on the high side, Duty on the bottom, bringing Gardner, Weiser. Here comes Spatula in car number 89 behind Duty. They're two by two, looking to go three wide for the runner-up spot. Gardner on the bottom, Weiser in the middle. Duty on the top, three wide off of four down the front straight away. Duty going to hold that spot. Duty second, but Bob Gardner's on a rail down to the inside. Look at the Pink Panther go right around Allen Weiser. Here comes Mike Spatula as well. Weiser going to work in the middle. Spatula in the middle. Here comes the B1 bomber, Brent Larson. They found it out there on the bottom. Good run for the B1. Quickly three in the books, 22 to go. The high side hustler slips up a bit. Big hole over there in turn number two, but he keeps on motating along. Fager showing the way. Duty second. Good battle for third. Excuse me, for second. That'll be the four Gardner. Duty, Weiser in the middle. Here comes Larson Spatola. How about Jeff Curl on the bottom? Good one, two, three, four, five, six cars. Scrum there, two by two by two. Looking good off the uh, corner number four here at Falls. Bager continues to dominate this event at car number 25. Bob Gardner trying to hold on for a second, but here comes Duty again to his outside. Duty and Gardner side by side. Brent Larson and Alan Weiser side by side. Jeff Curl and Mike Spatola side by side. Vandenberg's going to join the party as well. 19 to go, six in the books. Down the back straightaway, Duty and Gardner still side by side for the race lead. Alan Weiser right in the middle, Larson on the bottom, then it's Jeff Curl, Mike Spatola, and Colby Vandenberg. Down the front straightaway they go. The battle is for that second spot. That's where we're at here on DirtOnDirt.com. Gardner second, good battle for third. Behind Dustin Duty, third, fourth is Brent Larson now down to the inside. Larson on the move, the driver to Lake Elmo, Minnesota. Wow, what action here in the front straightaway. Behind second running, Bob Gardner, three wide again. Duty going to hold him off. Weiser in the middle, Larson on the bottom. Curl, Curl and Colby Vandenberg. Beautiful shot there on dirt on dirt. Down the front straightaway. Oh, yeah, action hot and heavy here the Legion Speedway. As Brent Larson now going to go to fourth. Third is still 15, Justin Duty. Battle for the race lead. Here comes the four of Bob Gardner now. Creeping while Jason Fager sleeping on the top side. 10 of the books, 15 to go. Stay green the whole way. That bottom side might be where it's at. Fager upstairs, Gardner downstairs. Down the front straightaway, we get our first caution of the evening here in the non-qualifiers PDC shootout. Bob Gardner really motating around the bottom of the speedway. Keep your eyes on the 4G race fans. Well, the Pink Panther, the man on the move. Get your 50-50 tickets ready, race fans. Tonight's winner. Once again, right before the Prairie Dirt Classic at the conclusion of this event, we will announce the winners here very soon. So keep your 50-50 tickets handy. Here we go, back to green. Jason Fager leads the Prairie Dirt Shootout. 15 laps to go on that high side. Gardner on the bottom. Larson in the middle, down the back. Straight away they go. Weiser fourth, duty fifth, Vandenberg. Then here comes Bobby Pierce now. Pierce on the outside. We'll see if he can make something happen at car number 32. 14 to go. Here comes Bobby Pierce. They're four wide, almost five wide down the back straightaway. Wow. Pierce, duty. We got Vandenberg, Curl, Weiser. What a look off of the three by three. How many tracks can say that? Holy smokes. 13 to go. Bobby Pierce, hell bent for the front. Are you kidding me? Down the back straightaway. Pierce now inside the top five. Weiser on the bottom's fourth. It's Fager, Gardner, Larson, Weiser, and Bobby Pierce now to fifth. Running out of time in a hurry. Turn two is where he's got all his traction at to the outside of Allen Weiser. Now going to run in the middle of three and four. Pierce looking to sidestep Allen Weiser for the fourth spot. Slips up just a bit, 11 to go. Jason Fager, Bob Gardner, Brent Larson, 
Alan Weiser in the charging Bobby Pierce. Ten laps to go. Can Gardner catch Fager? Does Fager have it in the bag? Ten laps remain. Good battle shaping up for that third spot. Pierce hoping for a caution. Alan Weiser, Brent Larson. Here comes Bobby Pierce. A circus move to the outside of Larson. Larson shuts the door on him down the front straightaway. Can he do it again in one and two? Are you serious? Oh my goodness, Bobby Pierce. Oh, and Fager slips up. Eight to go. Can we have a shootout for two grand here in the Prairie Dirt shootout? Bobby Pierce, but not an absolute show. We're gonna stay green for now. Seven to go when they come back by. Fager, Gardner, Weiser, and Bobby Pierce trying to win $2,000 in front of a ruckus false crowd here tonight. Fager slips up again. Bobby Pierce held it for the front to the outside of Alan Weiser. Cracks the whip down the back straightaway. No way. As <laughs> look at the kid just wheel the 32, just muscles it down the front straightaway. What's going to happen? Six to go. Bobby Pierce giving it everything he can. <laughs> After Bob Gardner, I do not believe what I'm seeing. Down the front straightaway. Can a non-qualifiers event qualify for race of the year? We just may see it. Four to go this time by. Fager continues to show the way, but here comes Bobby Pierce. I'm gonna run out of breath. I'm not gonna be able to announce the Prairie Dirt Classic. But hold on to her, Bobby, as he bumps through the whoops, down the back straightaway. Cheer him on, race fans, here it falls. Holy hell, here comes Bobby Pierce. I do not believe what I'm seeing. Three to go. Fager and Pierce. Pierce is there now. Down the back straightaway. The back stretch is going bonkers. No way. Pierce can do it. Fager, Pierce showing the way. Fager still showing the way. Two to go. Fireworks coming up for the Predator Classic. Bobby Pierce is more than a man. White flag this time, and the caution comes out. Oh, debris in turn one. Holy smokes. <laughs> Backstretch, what about the smooth operator, Bobby Pierce? Oh, oh, oh. Here we go, Norris. All the 80-year-olds in Fairbury just had a heart attack. <laughs> oh my, who's it gonna be? Fager appears on the restart with two to go. See if Bobby Pierce can get through the holes a little bit better at Fager. He does out the back straight away. We're gonna see a slider for the race lead. Bobby Pierce and Jason Fager gonna put on a show. White flags out down to the line. Bobby Pierce takes the lead, one to go. Fager gonna try his own slide job, not enough. Down the back straight away in the Pierce Posse 32 champion spark plugs. The smooth operator, Bobby Pierce, with a thriller, it falls. Oh, hell yeah, what a race, Bobby Pierce. Unbelievable. Race fans, make some noise. Out of Oakwood, Illinois, you just saw one of the best races of all time, Bobby Pierce. Yes. Dustin Jarrett. Norris, I can't tell. Are you excited? Why don't you get a little enthusiastic, oh, buddy? I don't know how I'm going to do the Prairie Dirt Class. What a race. What a race before the race. So th I cannot wait to hear what he's got to say about this. I'm tired just from watching. <laughs> it's unbelievable. As he wheels the family owned. Hey, DJ, real quick, he can give up the money to start in the back of the PDC. That's something I did not mention. Uh, yeah, well, I, I mean, I think it's going to go without saying, but uh, we'll we'll ask him the question anyway. He's getting ready to climb out of the car. The smooth operator, Bobby Pierce.
We were bragging up Don Hammer's fitness and ability earlier. I don't know if he's got anything on the way you were muscling that thing around there, man. First off, before we even talk about the race, we've got a very important question to ask. I think I know the answer, but we'll ask you anyway. $2,000 to win this race. Are you going to put this thing at the tail of the field and start the Prairie Dirt Classic? Hold on, let, hold on. I, I, before your answer, how many fans here want to see Bobby Pierce start the tail of the field and run the Prairie Dirt Classic? Does that uh, influence your decision, Henny? You know, it's been a long week. Uh, I think I'm just going to take the uh, feature and start. Oh, he's going to start at the tail of the Prairie Dirt Classic, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, talk about that race, man. You were up on the wheel. Yeah, just uh, thanks to Jason Fager, you know, racing me clean there. Uh, was, that was really fun. Uh, that restart, if it didn't come out, you know, he, he might have got it because uh, he was just running a good line. And then I think that restart, you know, you get out of your rhythm sometimes and he hit that hole over there. And I just so happened to have a hell of a run. Uh, man, you know, uh, I, I've uh, had so much bad luck lately. I just got to give a huge thanks to everybody for staying behind me. Um, we've been behind the eight ball so much in the last two races. And, uh, man, to pull it off, start in the back of the feature. I, I, said, I said it all day. I was like, it's going to be harder getting in the feature starting where I am than it will be to possibly come to, from the back and win it um, because, you know, now we got 100 laps. So it's just uh, so much more laps to do more stuff. And we need to get back to the pit so we can work on our car. Big thanks to uh, Fairbury and all the fans for coming here and everyone watching on Dirt on Dirt and all my guys and Cole Swibel for letting me use his truck and trailer and everybody. We're going to let him get back to the pits to work on that race car. What about it, ladies and gentlemen, the smooth operator, Bobby Pierce.